My name is Jen Schlauk and I am an early career ecologist. While getting my bachelor's in ecology at the University of Texas in Austin, I studied the microbiomes of wasps, discovered a new ant species at the field lab, and conducted a pollinator phenology project in central New Mexico. As a scientist, I'm particularly interested in hymenoptera and insect plant interactions. I'm also passionate about mentorship, conservation, and art. Since graduating, I have worked with several research projects. These projects focused on community dynamics and conservation and have included tree climbing, insect surveying, and botany. I'm currently an outreach illustrator with the Smithsonian, and I hope to gain experience as a researcher and communicator before beginning a PhD in ecology in the fall of 2022. This fellowship would be an incredible opportunity for me to contribute to the conservation of biodiversity while incorporating my research interests. In an area as diverse as the OSA, developing species accounts can be a monumental task. Much activity in the tropical rainforest happens in the canopy. Advances in survey and climbing techniques make these great heights more accessible than ever, allowing us to observe what makes tropical landscapes so unique. I hope to focus my project on canopy diversity, specifically regarding Hymenoptera. The insect order Hymenoptera, which includes bees, wasps, and ants, may be the most species-rich group of insects on the planet. As pollinators, pest controllers, and occasional pests themselves, Hymenoptera often find themselves in the economic and cultural spotlight. Ecologically, they play significant roles across all trophic levels. The last time there was a major analysis of Hymenoptera and diversity in Costa Rica was in 1996. They found approximately 17,000 Hymenopteran species, but it only emphasized ground level, not arboreal collections. The OSA is also a marvelous forest landscape with over 800 tree species. If granted the fellowship, I would aim to begin in September, as the flowering peak is at the beginning of the dry season. Flowering cycles often direct symbiosis between plants and hymenopterans via pollination and floral nectar rewards. A diverse plant community is likely to be correlated with high hymenopteran diversity. I plan to use bait traps, pan traps, and hand collection to study how canopy composition affects the arboreal hymenopteran community in the Osa Peninsula. The arboreal community is relatively understudied compared to the forest floor. Tropical nocturnal life is similarly understudied. Light trapping, which is the use of a black light to attract insects, is an effective technique for surveying nocturnal species. I hope to employ this technique in the canopy as well. It would be an honor and an incredible opportunity to conduct this project with OSA Conservation. Surveys such as this can help to document the biodiversity of Costa Rican rainforests and help to maintain the cultural and ecological value of this region.